I salute you this morning, my brothers and sisters, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I bring greetings to you this morning on the behalf of Love and Faith Gospel Ministry. Minister Leslie is here this morning to read the word of God and to testify that Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to God, David. Testify in the book of Psalms that he will sit at, his, at the right hand of his Lord until the Lord put the enemy under his feet. He was referring to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Mighty God of Jacob, glory to God. And so this morning, the topic of our message, our body is the carrier of the glory of God. True Christ Jesus, glory to God. Our body is the carrier of the glory of God. Mighty God of Jacob, glory to God, hallelujah. Our body is the carrier of the glory of God. Glory to God. This morning as we come before his presence to give him the honor and the glory and the praise, he fight for us in the days of Egypt. Glory to God in the days of Pharaoh. He sent Moses to fight for the Israelites and he used signs and wonders to inform Pharaoh that he is the only wise God and we should have no other God but him. Glory to God. He tell Moses to tell Pharaoh to let his people go so that they will worship him. Glory to God. This morning as we come before his presence, the God that testified to Moses on Mount Sinai, declare himself unto him. I am the God of... Isaac, Jacob, I am the God of Abraham, I am your God and I will be with you. This morning I testify to you this morning that the same God that testified to Moses on Mount Sinai identify himself unto Moses, tell Moses who he is. He said, I am the I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go so that they will come and worship me. Glory to God. God did not expect us to do anything else but worship him. He know that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. He know that in sin our mother conceived us. He know that our nature is to, be, is to sin. He know that Adam ate the forbidden fruit and caused us to sin. And he have a plan to resurrect us and reconcile us back to him. Glory to God. And that plan was to send Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior with the grace, with truth, with the light that give light unto all men that come into the world. Glory to God. Jesus Christ testified and he said, even though I am in the world, I am not of the world. My character is not reflecting upon the world because I walk not by the flesh, but I walk by the Spirit of God. Glory to God. And because Jesus Christ was walking by the Spirit of God, he was able to overcome death on the third day. And therefore, he received the key to hell, death and the grave. God gave him dominion over all demons. He give him dominion over all demonic kingdom. And at his knee, every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the son of the living God. The only begotten of the Father. Glory to God. And this morning, Jesus Christ remind us that everything that his father has taught him, he has made it known unto us. This morning as I come before his present. To make it known unto you that which Jesus Christ had taught me. I am here to give God thanks, worship him non-stop, be consistent in my worship and in my growth with God. He said if we come to him 
we must come like a child that is craved for his mother milk, his mother breast milk. Glory to God. And so when a child come into the world, the first thing that child do, he desire to taste that breast milk that come from is our, our mother breast. Glory to God. And so this morning, Jesus Christ want us to have that same crave for his spirit. That same crave to walk in his spirit, walk in his light and pattern him. Pattern his character while he was unhurt. Glory to God. This morning as we get into the scripture to read his word so that he can talk to us. So we can receive the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. This morning, Father, as I come before your throne, as I give you honor, I give you the glory, I give you the praise. Because there is none like you. There is none above you. You are God all by yourself. I lift up your name, mighty God, this morning. I give you the honor, I give you the glory, I give you the praise. Mighty God of Jacob, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac. You are my God. I have an encounter with you and I know who you are. You are the God that never lost a battle. You are the God that chose the poor. You are the God who chose us behind our sin, behind our fault. Mighty God, you are the God who never slumber nor sleep. You are the only one of Israel. Mighty God of Jacob, I honor you. I give her the glory. I give her the praise. I give her the honor because there is none above you. Your word said you honor your word above your name. And none of your word shall go and come back to you void. This morning, Father, I put my children before you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I put everyone that is under the sound of my voice this morning before you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I put my family, my friends in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everyone that is under the sound of my voice this morning, I place them at your throne. Mighty God, I give you honor, I give you the glory, I give you the praise because there is none like you and there is none above you. You stand alone. You are the Holy One of Israel, our Savior. Glory to God. Glory to God. I come before your present Lord and I give you the honor and the glory. I give you the praise. Mighty God of Jacob, this morning I come before your presence as your servant and I ask of you this morning, Father, that you will send your angel to my home, in my house, in Red Hill St. Andrew and root out every plans of the enemy, every dead angel, every spirit of dysfunction, every spirit of war and violence in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, your word said you are not the spirit of confusion. Mighty God, I ask of you this morning to send your angel at my house in the root of the bigs and the confusion to drive out every plans of the enemy right now, Father. Everyone is under the sound of my voice this morning. Father, I ask of you that wherever there is a demonic evil spirit that attack their life, attack their finance, attack their health, attack their body, attack their mind to drive them away from you. Father, I ask you this morning to send your angel right now in the midst of their battle, in the midst of their trouble and loose them, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask of you. Your word said, Father, whatever we ask of you in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be done. Mighty God, your word said that we should walk not by the flesh, but by the spirit. And Father, as I walk and function in your spirit this morning, I pray this morning, Father, that you will give your angels charge over my home, over my finance, over my health, over the life of my children, my wife, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask of you, Father, 
Let your word go forth this morning and accomplish whatever you said it would in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover my wife, mother, under your blood. Cover our sisters and our brothers. Mighty God of Jacob, you are the God that never fail us. You are the God that never slumber nor sleep. Mighty God of Jacob, send your angel right now to touch my daughter, Janiel, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Touch her home, mighty God of Jacob. Touch her house, mighty God of Jacob. Touch her finance, touch her career, touch her life, mighty God. Touch her husband from the crown of his head to the sole of the... Touch her son, touch my grandson. They are my immediate family. Mighty God, I call upon your name on the behalf of my children. Mighty God of Jacob, I call upon your name, mighty God, on the behalf of my children. Mighty God, that you will rescue them from every plans of the enemy. Mighty God, let not the secret counsel of the wicked destroy them. Mighty God, let not the secret counsel of the wicked destroy them, mighty God. Cover my son when he under your blood. Cover his immediate family, mighty God. Wash him under your blood, mighty God. Spouse, mighty God. Wash her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Mighty God, touch her daughter from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Mighty God, touch less and Marissa under your blood, mighty God. Your blood, Jesus, I ask of you this morning. I plead the blood of Jesus over my home, over my life, over my finance, over everyone that is under the sound of my voice this morning. Mighty God, as we get into your word, we are the carrier of your glory, mighty God. And you promise us that if we be a steward, for you, a royal priesthood, you take full responsibility to fight our battle. Mighty God, this morning, as I come before your throne, as a servant, as a brother of your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who you give the key to hell, death, and the grave, who you give dominion over every demonic kingdom. Almighty oh, God, I come before your presence. I call upon your name this morning that you will drive out every spirit that is not of you that lingers around like a roaring lion seeking for who they may devour. Mighty God of Jacob, everyone that is under the sound of my voice this morning, you know in their life where there is a darkness, you know in their life there is dysfunction, you know in their life where there is confusion, you know in their life where the enemy plans secret counsel against them. But Father, I call upon your name this morning as a servant, as I release the anointing of your Holy Spirit to drive out every plan of the enemy, out of everyone and under the sound of my voice this morning. Mighty God of Jacob, cover my brothers and my sisters under your blood. Mighty God of Jacob, cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. My nieces and my nephew, my friends and my family, my neighbors, Almighty oh, God, upon oh, strangers, mighty God, before your presence as your servant, mighty God, your word promised me. Your word promised me according to the book of Genesis. You spoke unto Moses. You spoke unto Abraham. You spoke unto uh, Jacob, mighty God, who changed his name from Jacob to Israel and you promise him that you will send us a savior out of the offspring of David to rescue us from the penalty of our sin. Mighty God, your word said, in Adam all men die and your word also remind us that in Christ Jesus we come alive. Your word said, whosoever believe it in our heart, confess that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. We shall be saved. We shall receive eternal life. Mighty God, I speak life over my life. I speak life over the life of my children. I speak life over Moses. I speak prosperity over my children. I speak prosperity over my life. I speak prosperity over everyone that is under the sound of my voice this morning. Mighty God of Jacob, I call upon your name. 
I call upon your name, Father. I call upon your name, Father. Your word says you slumber nor sleep. Almighty oh, God, as I lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help come from the Lord, which make heaven and earth. He will not suffer my feet to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my side upon my right hand. The sun shall not snipe thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Mighty God of Jacob, I call upon your name this morning, Father. As I give her the honor, I give her the glory, I give her the praise, mighty God. I call upon your name, mighty God, and I ask you this morning to give your angels charge over us, Lord, so that we will not smash our feet against the stone. Your word remind us, Father, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Mighty God, we come before your presence. We give her the honor, we give her the glory, we give her the praise. Mighty God, we give her the honor, we give her the glory, we give her the praise. Mighty God, we give her the honor, we give her the glory, we give her the praise. Mighty God, this morning, I plead the blood of Jesus over my doorpost and on the side, mighty God, on top of my doorpost. And I, mighty God, as I wipe the blood on top of that doorpost, in my home and on the side by faith mighty God knowing that no plague shall enter into my house and destroy my household mighty God I wipe their blood around my windowsill so that when they see the blood the terror of death shall not enter into my house and destroy my household mighty God you know my house by name you know them by number you were said Father God that if the builder build the house and you are not a part of it, the, those that build it, they labor in vain. Mighty God, build a covenant over my house. Build a roof over my house, mighty God. My physical house where my family live. Mighty God, I pray this morning that as my body continues to carry your glory, mighty God, I pray that you will dispatch your angel over my life, mighty God. So that no weapon that form against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against me in judgment shall be condemned. Because the word promised me, Lord, that the weapon of my warfare is not carnal. But it is mighty to God to the pulling down of stronghold. I pull down every stronghold this morning that attack my life, attack my family, my children, my ministry, my health, my finance, my relationship with God. The blood of Jesus against us, Satan. As I send you back to the sender right now, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he shed his blood on the cross to give me dominion and power over principality. He said whatever his father has taught him, he has made it known unto me. And this morning, as I stand on the foundation of his blood, as I stand on the foundation that he set for us, as I stand on the foundation of his promise, I command every spirit that is not of you to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As I send them back where they come from, I send them back to the pit of hell. I return them by the power of Jesus Christ that is invested in me. Mighty God of Jacob, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, your only begotten son, in whom you are well pleased. The only one that was worthy to open the school and lose the seven seals thereof. Mighty God, I come before your presence. As I give you the honor and the glory and the praise. Son of David, I call upon your name. Oh, no, son of David, I call upon your name. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth, I call upon your name. 
Jesus of Nazareth, I call upon your name because there is no other name. There is no other name. There is no other name by which we should be saved. We must be saved, Almighty God, by your grace and by the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, Mighty God of Jacob, my brothers and sisters, I bring greetings to you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I bring greetings unto you, Almighty God of Jacob. I honor you. I give you the glory. I give you the praise. Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are, Father. We lift up your name on high. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you the praise. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God of Jacob. What a awesome God you are. What a mighty God you are. Go before us this morning, Lord, and make the crooked part straight. Oh, what a mighty God you are. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Mighty God, mighty God. My God, my God, my God. What a mighty God you are. Oh, glory to your name, Father. We lift up your name on high. You are the great I am. You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Moses. The God of Jacob. Oh, glory to God, the Holy One of Israel. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. You are the same God that Jesus Christ reminds us that whatever his Father has taught him, he has made it known unto us. He said he come to finish the work that you have started. And Jesus Christ leave us to continue and to finish the work that he has completed. Almighty God, we are complete in Jesus Christ. Almighty God, mighty God, thank you for that reconciliation with you by the blood of Jesus Christ that purge us from our sin. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. We lift up your mighty name, Father, and we give you the honor and the glory and the praise. No demons come, can come near my dwelling. Almighty oh, God, your word promise us that no demons shall come near thy dwelling. Oh, glory to God, because you shall give your angels charge over us so that we will not smash our feet against the stone. Your word said a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand and I shall look and see the reward of the wicked. Mighty God, when the wicked plot secret counsel against your servant and dispatch that angel to take out my life, take out my family, take out my children. Almighty oh, God, I send them up right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I turn them back right now by the power of Jesus Christ that is invested in me. The blood of Jesus against the Satan. The blood of Jesus against you, Satan. You have no authority. You have no dominion over my life. You have no authority. You have no dominion over my life. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to be broken. In the name of Jesus, I command you. I command you. I command you to be broken. You have no power, no authority over my life, my children, my ministry, my health, my finance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. The blood of Jesus against us, Satan. The blood of Jesus against you. You have no authority over my life. You have no authority over my home, my children. The blood of Jesus against you. I command you to flee. Pack your things and go. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you by the power of Jesus Christ. 
that is invested in me. Almighty God of Jacob, give your servant dominion and power over every plans of the enemy. They lingers around in the dark like a sneaking lion trying to destroy your servant, destroy my relationship with you. But I plead the blood of Jesus against them right now. The blood of Jesus against the Satan. I command every spirit that is not of you to be broken. To be broken. To be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. It is finished. It is done. It is finished. It is done. My body is the carrier of the glory of God through Christ Jesus. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. Thank you for your revelation, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your revelation. Thank you for your revelation, Father. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace. Mighty God, thank you for your protection. Thank you that you never sleep. You always watching over your people. Mighty God, you always watching over us. And as I continue to give you the honor, the glory and the praise, because it all belongs to you. Mighty God, that's what you tell Moses. Go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go so that they will worship me. What a mighty God you are. You never stop fight for the Israelites until they were free. When Moses passed away, you called Joshua and you said, My servant Moses is dead. I have a challenge for you. Take up the sword and go and march around Jericho wall and shout seven times. And the wall of Jericho will come down. Mighty God, as I shout, this morning, as I shout this morning, the name of Jesus, I ask of you that every one that the enemy put up in my life and in my family, in my home, in my ministry, in my finance, I plead the blood of Jesus that it is broken, it is crumbled, Almighty God, and fall on top of the enemy. Oh, glory to God. I speak the name of Jesus and broke every bond, every curse, every dead angel that the enemy dispatched against my life and the life of my children, my family, my home. In the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be broken. Jesus, I speak your mighty name over every principality. Jesus, I speak your mighty name over every principality. Jesus, I speak your mighty name over every principality. Jesus, I speak your mighty name over every wall that put up in my life by the enemy. Jesus, I speak your name over every plans of the enemy that set forth to destroy my life. Jesus, I speak the name of Jesus over every spirit that dispatch are over my life and the life of my children. Jesus, I speak the name of Jesus over every demonic warfare, every dead angel that they dispatch to take out my life, my children, my finance, destroy everyone that is connected to me, everyone is under the sound of my voice, every word that put up in your life shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall come down in the name of Jesus Christ. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. Pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I pull it down. You have no dominion, no authority over my life. Jesus Christ is the one that has the authority over my life because you shed his blood on the cross so that I can receive eternal life. And this morning as I give him the honor, 
Give him the glory. Give him the praise. I lift up his name. I lift up his mighty name. I lift up his name. Almighty God of Jacob. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. Thank you for your son Jesus Christ. Who you send as a bridge. To have us cross over to you. And come to the road. That lead us to you father. So we can drink of that tree. Drink of that life spring of water. So that we will never thirsty again. Because we will have you. A life spring of water inside our soul. Mighty God I give you the honor. I give you the glory. I give you the praise. I lift up your name above every name. Because you are the only one of Israel. Your word said you are the God who made peace. You are the God who made calamity. You are the God who do all these things. The Holy One of Israel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As we go to the scripture taken from Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 to 6. Glory to God. These scriptures are taken from the NIV version. Glory to God. And so, a few of these scriptures are taken from the NIV version. There's a particular one that is taken from the New King James Version. And that is Revelation 22 verse 9. Glory to God. And the other scriptures are taken from the King James Version. Glory to God. My apostle, Dr. Delroy Smith, he taught me when I want to understand the revelation of the word of God. It is wise for us to use different translation so that we will get a better understanding of the revelation of God. The word of God says in the book of 1 Corinthians that when you pray in the spirit, your mind pray, but your understanding is unfruitful. And therefore, it is important that we seek understanding. And that is why every day I have to thank God for Apostle Dr. Delroy Simit, who have taught me to learn how to understand the revelation and the mystery of God. And so he taught me to catch a fish and not only feed me with a fish. Glory to God. And that's what make him a great apostle. Glory to God. Jesus Christ when he came. He taught his disciple. Everything that his father had taught him. And when he taught them. He sent them out to the uttermost part of the world. To spread the gospel. Spread the good news to every generation. Jews and Gentiles. Born and free. Glory to God. He taught them to go and spread the good news. And to all nations. Glory to God. So that the world will see our good deeds. And come to glorify the Father who are in heaven. Glory to God. And so this morning as I Previously mentioned that the topic of our message, our body is the carrier of the glory of God. How important it is to protect your body as a temple of the living God. So we can carry the glory of God. Glory to God. It is important that we understand the mystery of the secret of the kingdom of God. Glory to God. And we can only receive and understand the mystery of the kingdom of God by reading his word. We cannot read the word of God today and scramble the day after. We have to be consistent when we are reading the word of God. Because the word of God let us understand that God never slumber nor sleep. He always watching over us. Glory to God. And that is why whenever the enemy sneak around like a roaring lion, 
It is waiting for a moment when we slip up and leave the gate open to come in like a wolf and eat up the sheep. Glory to God. And in the very same way, the enemy sneak around like a roaring lion seeking for who he may devour. Glory to God. He is the author of confusion. Glory to God. And whenever you see confusion established into your relationship with your brothers and sisters, your wife, your mother, your father, even your own church brothers and sisters, even your own self, your doctors, your nurses, the police, medical personnel, glory to God, your children, whenever you see the spirit of confusion in those areas of your life, you know it is not coming from God because God is not the author of confusion but of peace and love and of a sound mind. Glory to God. When you see this enemy rise up and manifesting themselves, you have to go down on your knee and pray over time. Read the word of God over time, knowing that the God that we serve, as long as you open your mouth and call upon his name, he is always available to hear your cry because he never slumber nor sleep. Glory to God. He never slumber nor sleep. Glory to God. And Jesus Christ remind us that he is going to prepare a place for us. So when he return again, we, he will take us unto him and take us to the place that he prepared for us. We can only get there by what we do. He said it's not by any good work that any man should boast. But he promised us that when he returns, he is coming with his reward. And he will be paying every man according to the will be paying every man according to their work. Glory to God. He promised us that he will throw our sin in the sea of forgetfulness. That means that we will not be consumed by the penalty of our sin anymore. But when you commit sin against each other and commit, commit evil against your brothers and sisters, he will hold you accountable for it. And that is why he said, when he come, he will come with his reward and he will pay every man according to their, their, their what? To their work, their deeds. Glory to God. So when you commit evil against your brothers and sisters, and because Jesus Christ reminds us that he will throw our sin in the sea of forgetfulness. You believe that you'll get away. You'll not get away because you will suffer the consequences of the evil that you committed against your brothers and sisters. Glory to God. You will always have to pay for it one way or another. And if you don't pay for it in person, somebody for you have to pay for it. Glory to God. Somebody up for you have to pay for it. Glory to God. You see what Pharaoh did with the children of Israel? When God sent Moses to tell him to let his people go and he rebelled against God, he rejected the word of God. What did God do? God sent plague to kill his firstborn. Glory to God. It was a child, innocent child, God sent a plague, terror of death, to struck down the Egyptian, struck down Pharaoh's household. His camel, his cattle, his household was struck down. Glory to God. His son was struck down and they were innocent. But it was because of the evil that Pharaoh had done to the Israelites. God only him accountable for it. And when he strike, his household and his family and was to pay the price for it. Another example, look at Adam. Adam sinned against God in the garden and as a result, we have to suffer the consequences for it. Even though we did not eat the forbidden fruit in the garden. Glory to God. You see where God had was to send Jesus Christ in the likeness of sinful flesh. So he will be able to manifest his glory through him. So he can receive, he can restore our body and bring us unto him. 
That is why he remind us that Jesus Christ is the bridge in which we go to God the Father. We cannot get there by any other means. We only can get there through Jesus Christ because he is the way, the truth, and the light. Glory to God. He is the way, the truth, and the light. We can only get to God the Father by Jesus Christ and not by any good work that we should boast. Glory to God. But whatever we do against our brothers and sisters, we have to give a call for it. Glory to God. I was just looking back today as I study the scripture of God and as I try to reflect back on memory lane and remember where I'm coming from and the things that I've been through and the things that caused my marriage to, to fall apart. Glory to God. I remember when I was when I was working bus in Jamaica and when I come from work, my daughter and my son O'Neill, they were about my son was about eight years of age, ten, eight years of age, somewhere about there. My daughter Jenny was about six years of age. And I remember when I come from work and come home, they both in my lap and they were like fighting, quarreling. Daddy, it's me first. Daddy, it's me first. Let O'Neill get up. Let Jenny get up. It's me first. Those are some moments that I cherish. Glory to God. And when I come to realize that all that was taken away from me because of the plans of the enemy. Glory to God. I wasn't a perfect man and perfect like Job did. But I was born in sin and shape in iniquity. But the way in which we handle the situation, the way in which my ex-wife handled the situation, it wasn't the right and the correct way to do. And therefore, when I thought I lost everything, glory to God, because all of my hard earned working sweat and brow, that I sweat work bus night and day, struggle night and day to put food on my table, hoping that we will live and grow all together. And I thought this was it. And when I got defeated, glory to God, and I thought that it was over, I began to blame that at some point. And today when I look down memory lane and look at all the things that I've been through, glory to God, and see what God is doing in my life right now, I just lift my hands to heaven and say, God, who can it be but you? You promised us that we should reap whatever we sow. And so I want to encourage somebody today that if you are doing good and it's not working out in your favor, don't get weary of doing good. In the long run, you will reap the reward. Glory to God. Today I can tell you that I am reaping my reward. And oftentimes people will see me reaping my reward today and criticize and cast all type of manner of evil against the man of God. Not knowing where I'm coming from. Not knowing where God has brought me to. Not knowing the things that God saved me from. Because he know that he have a job for me to do. I am here to encourage someone today. That when you are doing good. Don't allow the bad energy and the negative thoughts that life has to offer. To restrict you from doing good. Because in the long run. You are the one who is going to reap the benefit, reap the fruits of your labor. Glory to God. Today I can lift up my eyes to God and tell God thanks for the opportunity that he gave me to be here today looking at my daughter Janelle, a military personnel, a USA Army military personnel. She makes me proud and every day I plead the blood of Jesus over her life so that the enemy will not shun her lifespan and take her out before her time because I know that the enemy is angry because he didn't expect anything to good to come out of my my my, my labor glory to God. that is why he tried to discourage me he tried to have me reject God and sin as Job wife told him curse God and die glory to God there are times when I feel rejected but in the midst of my rejection 
in the midst of my rejection, I cry out to God. And I say, God, if you are the God that used Moses to lead the children out of Egypt, prove me today if you are yes or no. If it's not today, it's never going to be because I feel like giving up. And God immediately, he answered to my cry. Glory to God. And it wasn't even in the week. It was on a Sunday when I went to church. I cried. Tears fell out of my eye at the altar. And I cried to God. And I said, Father, how could this be? You promised me that we should be a father to the fatherless. And now I don't have my children where I'm at. Glory to God. I cried night and day. I wept. But I didn't realize that he was wiping my tears. He was drying my tears. And today I can look to him and remember those tears. Knowing that I can smile again. Glory to God. Today I want to use this experience as a testimony. The word of God says, It's not by any good work that any man should boast. But he promised us that we overcome the enemy. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. This morning I am here to testify to somebody that if you are doing good and you, have, you got rejected, don't allow rejection to stop you from doing good because in the long run, you are the one who is going to reap the reward. And when you start to reap the reward, the same person who reject you, they are the one who is going to look at you. They are not going to be happy. But they have to understand that when you was sowing the seed and being rejected, God has allowed you not to be thrown overboard as a result of your rejection. But his mercy and his grace sustain you so that you can smile again. Mighty God, I ask you to continue to wipe my tears so I can continue to smile again. And as I give you thanks, And trust you, Lord. I know that the best is yet to come. Glory to God. Everything that I lost in those days, God has given them back to me. God has given them back to me. Glory to God. God has given them back to me. Everything that I lost, God has given them back to me. Many a time the enemy tried to throw me overboard. And I have to remind the enemy, That this is not the enemy doing. It is God doing. And the God of Jacob promised me. He said, I am the God who made peace. And I am the God who created calamity. I am the God who do all these things. The only one of Israel. Glory to God. And it is the same God that talked to me. That talked to Moses and Mount Sinai. Why am I worrying? There is nothing to worry about. I will continue to trust him because I have seen his wonderful works. I have seen the wonders of his hands. I have seen his hands upon my life. And this morning as I continue to ask him to give his angel charge over my life, my children, my home, my ministry, my health. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask of you, your words say whatever we ask, In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall receive it. What a mighty, what a mighty God we praise. What a mighty God he is. Continue to worship God. Continue to do good. Never get weary in good, in doing good. Because in the long run, you will reap your reward. You will reap your reward. Glory to God. You shall reap your reward. By continuing to do it good. Jesus Christ had a good moral character. And this is what he wants us to do as a disciple. As a steward. As a holy priesthood. Glory to God. To have a good moral character. So the world will look at our character. And identify us. Recognize us. That we are a disciple of the father. Almighty oh, God, what an awesome God you are. What a mighty God you are, Father. Glory to God, hallelujah. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1 to 6. 
the revelation from Jesus Christ, which God give him to show his servant what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John. Glory to God. What did he do? He made it known by sending his he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Glory to God, whom testify to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Who testify to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to acknowledge and recognize the power and the combination of Jesus Christ and God together. Glory to God. Before I get there, let I read to, to verse 6. Glory to God. Verse 4, verse 3, verse 3, glory to God. Blessed is the one who read aloud. Blessed be the one who, who blessed, blessed is the one who read aloud the word of this prophecy. And blessed are those who Heard it and take to art what is written in it because the time is near. Glory to God. We are talking about the book of Revelation. Glory to God. John to the seven churches in the providence of Asia. Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirit before his throne glory to God and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the king of the earth to him whom love us and as and free us from our sin by his blood and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth to him who loves us and to him who loved us and has free us from our sin by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom a prince to serve his God and father to him be glory and power forever and ever amen glory to God and so as I go back to the scripture right now, taken from Revelation chapter 1, verse 6. And remember, these scriptures are taken from the NIV version. Glory to God. And has made us to be a kingdom, a prince, to serve his God. And Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God. These scriptures are not taken from Revelation. And so as we continue to read the word of God, and let us let us go to the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 9. Glory to God. Taken from the New King James Version. 
taken from the New King James Version. Glory to God. Then he said to me, See that you do not do that, for I am your fellow servant and, and of your brother, the prophets and the prophet of those who kept the word of this book, worship God. Glory to God. Now I am reading the word of God taken from the book of Revelation. And so it is magnificent to know that oftentimes people twist the word of God to fit their knowledge, to fit their expectation, to fit their understanding. But when you are receiving the revelation by the Spirit of God, given to you by the grace of God, as Paul said, he was not taught by man, neither by the apostles, but he was taught by the Spirit the grace of God. He was taught by the grace of God. I am so amazed in how the grace of God is a moving spirit that never stays one place. It can never be locked in a box because the grace of God reached to the, to the sky. The grace of God surpassed the sky. There is no Power and hurt that can that can contain the grace of God. We are the carrier of the glory of God. Glory to God. And that is why whenever God is sending an angel to visit the people to give them a revelation, glory to God, they oftentimes have to find themselves in a body of a person. Glory to God. Because the Spirit of God communicate with the Spirit. The angels of God is a spirit. They communicate in a spiritual realm. Glory to God. And so when God is sending a messenger to give us a revelation, he cannot come spiritually because of the power and the force that come with that spirit. And therefore, he has to use a body to contain that spirit to reveal the revelation unto his people. And that is why we as royal priesthood of Jesus Christ is the carrier of the glory of God. Because when God was about to send his word into the world to reveal the revelation unto us, to save us from our sin. He had us to send his angel in the form of a person. And the angel prophesied unto Elizabeth and Mary. Testify to them that Mary will have a son. And he will deliver his people from their bondage. Mary said, how could this be? Since I have never touched a man, how could this be? The angel said unto her that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you shall conceive and bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus. And that son will set the people, his people from captivity. Glory to God. And he said unto her, your cousin Elizabeth is six months pregnant. Before she will bring forth a son and his name is John. And therefore he will be the one that go before Christ Jesus to prepare the way of the coming of Christ Jesus. All these revelations, God had was to contain his spirit into the body of a person to reveal the revelation of God unto Mary and unto Elizabeth. Glory to God. 
And so in the same way, God has to send Jesus Christ as his son to reveal his revelation inside of Jesus Christ so he can reveal the truth and the light, the grace and the update of his revelation. Because God himself cannot face us because of the magnitude of his power. We cannot see God and live. Glory to God. And so oftentimes, when God spoke to us through an angel, or spoke to us through another person, we sometimes guess and spell, and if and but, especially if we are not approved of the person, if we believe that the person is not qualified to deliver the message that God gives them unto you, we will not listen to them. We will condemn them. Not knowing that you are condemning the word of God. He said we are a peculiar people. We are a royal priesthood. Glory to God. Jesus Christ had was to come in the form of humanity. In order for God the Father to manifest his word into Jesus Christ on earth. And that is why when Jesus Christ was talking to the disciple, he reminded them that I am. Before Abraham was, I am. Glory to God. Why? Because Jesus Christ was talking through him. Glory to God. And the reason why he had was to send John the Baptist before Jesus Christ came is for John to, re to reveal that revelation unto the people to testify about Jesus Christ in whom God sent. God had told John the Baptist that on whom you see the Spirit came down and, and remain. He is the one in whom I am well pleased. Glory to God. And so when Jesus Christ came to start his ministry, he had was to go to John to be baptized for the remainder for the, for the remission of his sin. Even though he sinned not, he took up our sin. And because he took up our sin, he had was to baptize to receive the fullness of the revelation of the Holy Spirit inside of him. And the moment he baptized and come out of the water, the Spirit of God ascended upon him and remained he remain on him. He remain on him. And stay with him. Right to his ministry. And therefore he could not sin. Glory to God. God was talking to us. Through Jesus Christ. And that is why Jesus Christ reminded them. That he is God. He is God in a sense where. God is talking through him. To the people. But Jesus Christ himself is the Son of God, the only begotten of the Father, in whom God is well pleased. Glory to God. And so oftentimes, they have the complication with some persons saying that when you baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, it is not the right way. Some say you should baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In fact, Jesus command his disciple to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost and spread the good news through the uttermost part of the world. That was an instruction that God gave his disciple to carry out. Glory to God. But when Peter stand up and testify to the Pharisees, inform them that the only way they can be saved is by the name of Jesus Christ. He is absolutely right as well. But because Jesus Christ is the one who carry the glory of God and grace and truth come to Jesus Christ, we can only be saved to Jesus Christ. We can only enter the kingdom of God to Jesus Christ because he is the way, the truth, and the light. Glory to God. And no man can go to the Father except through him. Because he is the one who come to baptize us with the Holy Ghost and fire. Glory to God. 
But there's another part of Jesus Christ that reminds us in the book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 9. John said, when I saw these things, I fell down to worship before the angel. Then he said to me, see that you do not do that, for I am your fellow servant and your brother. The prophets and, and others, the prophets and those who keep the word of the book, worship God, glory to God. So you see where Jesus Christ identifies himself, who he is. God identify who Jesus is when Jesus was talking to the woman of Samaria, for example. Many a time in the scripture, Jesus tries to remind us that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. When God says the spirit of God became flesh and dwell amongst us, he was referring to the spirit that entered into the womb of Mary. And when he entered into the womb of Mary, he conceived and gave birth to a son. When he gave birth to a son, that son was Jesus. And he is now Christ because he, he is risen. Glory to God. And, and so the Bible reminds us in the book of Revelation, that a woman with 12 stars on her head give, give birth to a son in heaven and he will come to reign over every demonic kingdom and when the Satan in heaven realized that the, the woman was giving birth to that very son that was coming to destroy his kingdom the Bible says he swept the steel and when he swept his steel, three thirds of the star fall from the sky and flop to the ground. It was Satan and his angel that come down to the ground. And Jesus Christ had was to come with the glory of God because he is the carrier of the glory of God. And that is why we as a royal priesthood to Jesus Christ, we are the carrier of the glory of God through Christ Jesus. Because Jesus Christ promised us, glory to God. Listen to what he says in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 6. And remember, this scripture is taken from the NIV version. Glory to God. And so if you read the book of Revelation chapter 22, you will get the fullness of the revelation of God because that's where God talked to you. Revelation chapter 22, it is the last chapter in the Bible. Glory to God. And that is where you find the fullness of God revealed unto his people. The word of God says in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 6, and has made us to be a kingdom and a prince to serve his God and Father. Glory to God. To serve his God and Father. Who is God and Father? It is Jesus Christ, God and Father. God the Father is the God of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the Son. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is the carrier of the glory of God. And because he was walking in all his way perfect and holy because it was the spirit of God that entered into the womb of Mary that conceived and allowed Jesus to be born of the Virgin Mary the son of David that God promised us that will come and reign over David's kingdom and put Satan's kingdom to an end why he chose David? He chose David because David is a man of God's own heart. And because David is a man of God's own heart, he chose a son 
out of the offspring of David to use his Holy Spirit to fulfill and carry his glory so that his glory can be manifested throughout all the earth. And Jesus Christ said, he come to finish the work that his father had taught him and give him to, go, to do. The work that his father had started, he had come to finish it because he is the carrier of his glory. When Jesus Christ sent his disciples in the upper room, he told them to tarry and wait for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he wanted them to continue the work that he leave us to do. And in order for us to fulfill that duty, we have to be able to allow our body to carry the glory of God. It was the glory of God that fell upon them in the upper room like a fire. Glory to God. It was the glory of God that fell on top of them. And that is why when you are going to do ministry, you are carrying the, the glory of God. You are a royal priesthood. Glory to God. You are the prince. Glory to God. You are an ambassador for Christ. Glory to God. And this morning I want you to know your standard. Know your identity. Know who you are. So when the enemy comes to point finger and accuse you, of who they want you to be and to paint picture and who they expect you to be. You know who you are and stand on the foundation of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Glory to God. He saved. He saved. That's what he come to do, to save us from our sin because he's carrying the glory of God. And that is why we as a royal priesthood of Jesus Christ are carrying the glory of God just as Jesus Christ was carrying the glory of God and was holy and righteous in all his ways. And if we walk in the step of Jesus Christ and carry the glory of God, the word of God said, He who raised Christ from the dead will also raise us from the dead. And greater things than what Christ do, we shall do. Why? Because we are carrying the glory of God. This morning I'm here to encourage you. As a servant of God. And as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Walking in the liberty and freedom of Christ Jesus this morning. The word of God reminds us. That it's not by might or by power. But it's by his grace. Glory to God. It is by his grace. And that is why he remind Peter that never you ever call anything that I created unclean. Because the spirit of God that gives Peter the same grace is the same spirit of God that gives Paul the apostle the same grace. Paul said he was sent to preach to the Gentiles. Peter was sent to preach to the Jews. And it was the same grace that was upon both of them. He was delivered by the grace of God. It was the glory of God light him up on that horse while he was heading to Damascus to slew the Christian. When he had that encounter, he had a 360 turn around. This morning I'm here to tell you that we are a royal priesthood carrying the glory of God. And therefore, we should not allow the enemy to point finger on us and expect us to be what they want us to be. Glory to God. Philip find Nathaniel and said unto him that we have found the Messiah. He said unto him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? This morning I'm here to tell you that everything good can come from who you are, wherever you are. Because the word of God let us understand is not by might or by power, but it's by his grace. Declare the Lord God Almighty. The word that God said, Jesus Christ lighten up our darkness and therefore the darkness could not comprehend it. And as we resurrect by the blood of Jesus Christ and be sustained by his grace and his mercy, mighty God of Jacob, you see how Pharaoh tried to kill Moses before he was able to do the work of God 
and before he was chosen, but because mercy and grace was upon the life of Moses, even when his mother put him into the river full of crocodile and alligator, the word of God and his mercy kept him and bring him right into the hands of fear of the enemy. Glory to God. And God allowed the enemy to train him and to teach him the tricks of the enemy. And God said, okay, it's your time now. There is someone that who is slow in your brother. Go he forth over there and struck him down. And they will run you away. And when they run you away, I will come and save you. I will rescue you. But I will send you back to Egypt to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Glory to God. When God have his hand upon your life, even from in the womb of your mother, glory to God, the devil has no authority over your life. Do you know how much of us the devil tried to abort us even from in our mother's womb? And God would not allow it to happen because he have an assignment upon our life. Glory to God. He have an assignment upon our life. Glory to God. This morning I give you honor. I give you glory, Father, for your loving kindness and your everlasting love upon your servant. The word of God said unto Abraham, I will curse those who curse you and I will bless those who bless you. Mighty God of Jacob, what an awesome God you are. Oftentimes when the enemy rise up against me and I open my mouth and call upon the name of my father. And when the father struck and stretched out his hand and they feel the power and the rod of God. They said all kind of evil things about the son of God. Glory to God. I am a son of Jesus Christ. A royal priesthood. A servant of God who have been saved by his mercy and by his grace. And the enemy try in every way to, to take out my life. But God did not allow it because the hand of God is upon my life. And he promised me that when his hand is upon my life, no devil of the authority to take me out. Glory to God. This morning, as I demonstrate the word of God to you this morning, I trust God that you receive his word and put them into practice, knowing that the Father promised us that his word will not go and come back to him void. Because what? He honor his word above his name. Because he are the greatest, he can only swear unto himself. So he swear unto his own word. And he swear unto David, his servant. Promising that he should sit at his feet until the Lord made the enemy his footstool. This morning I am here to encourage you that when the enemy said no, Jesus said yes. My God is mighty in battle. He never lose a battle. He never lose a war. We are the carrier of the glory of God. The spirit of God live within our heart. Glory to God. But our body carries the glory of God. Glory to God. Our body carries the glory of God. And that is why Jesus Christ had was to come. In, in the likeness of humanity so that the glory of God could be in his body because why? he said he make us in his likeness and image to carry his glory to carry his glory if we look at Moses for example Moses was carrying the glory of God because he was given the covenant he was given the the, the, the Ten Commandments to give unto Israel to lead them to Jesus Christ so that he will have them receive grace and truth through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said he is the end of the law. He said he come out to demolish the law but to fulfill it. Glory to God. And when Jesus Christ came, the law is no more necessary because we are not saved by the law. We are saved by the grace of God through Christ Jesus. Glory to God. We are saved by the grace of God through Christ Jesus. Just as Moses carried the law, Jesus Christ carried grace and truth.
so that we can reconcile with the Father. The word that God said in Adam, all men die, but in Christ we come alive. What a mighty God we are. And because we come alive, our body is the carrier of the glory of God. And when you are carrying the glory of God, God has a responsibility to give his angels charge over you. And his words that he will bear you up in his hand so that you will not smash your feet against the stone. What an awesome God we serve. This morning, Father, as I demonstrate your word to your people, I pray, God, that your word will go forth right now into my home, in the life of my children, my children home, Germany, wherever my children are. Go into the home, mighty God, at my daughter, Janine, and root out every plant of the enemy, every spirit of confusion that tried to drive her marriage apart. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that no weapon that form against them shall prosper and every tongue that rise up against them in judgment shall be condemned. What a mighty God you are. Cover her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, mighty God. Watch her. Protect her from every secret counsel of the wicked. Cover my daughter Christina and Tushana Cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Cover Moses, lesson. Cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Hide them from the secret cause of the wicked, mighty God. Cover them under your blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask of you, Father. Your word promises us that whatever we ask of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is yours. It shall be done. Mighty God, I am your servant. I am carrying your glory. And as I ask you this morning, as a servant, let your word go forth this morning and accomplish everything that you said it would in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. The word of God says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 12. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Glory to God. Shine your light this morning, Father God, wherever there is darkness has surrounded my life, surrounded the life of my children, surrounded my home. Everyone is under the sound of my voice. Wherever there is darkness in their home, in their life, in their finance, in their ministry, wherever there is death, angel lingers in the dark. Shine your light in their life, Father. Your word said, according to the book of John, chapter 8, verse 12, taken from the King James Version. Then Jesus spoke. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Glory to God. Come, taste, and see that the Lord is good, and he is a rewarder for them that diligently seek him. Mighty God of Nazareth. Mighty God of Jacob, mighty God of Jacob, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And if you walk with Jesus, crave for him like a newborn child, crave for the milk of their mother. You shall not walk in darkness because Jesus will give you light so you can see where you go when you are carrying the glory of God. Jesus Christ was carrying the glory of God and that is why he was not able to stumble on the account of our Father. Glory to God. And because he never slumbered, because he never stumbled on the account of the Father, he was worthy, he was found worthy to open the scroll and loose the seven seals thereof. Glory to God. 
and lose the seven seals thereof. Mighty God of Jacob, what a mighty God you are. As I carry your glory, Lord, I pray for strength. I pray for power that I will continue to walk in your divine glory. Give me great grace, Lord, to sustain me. Give me great mercy to cover me, Lord. Give me your blood, great blood, your great blood of your son, Jesus Christ, as I offer holy and righteous to you, Father, as a sacrifice to you, Lord. I pray that you will cleanse me from every plans of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, as I ask of you in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of God says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Glory to God. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth his presence of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. How many times he call his word glorious? We are the royal priesthood. Glory to God. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Take it from the King James Version. Glory to God. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy, a holy nation, a peculiar people that he should show forth his praise of him who had called us call you out of darkness into his marvelous light he want to call you out of your darkness into his marvelous light that is the whole purpose why he's carrying the glory of god why he's carrying the glory of god why is carrying the glory of God? And as I carry the glory of God as his servant, I pray God that he will continue to give his angel charge over my life and over my children, my family, and my home, and over everyone that is under the sound of my voice. What a mighty God you are. What an awesome God you are. What a mighty God you are. Job, in the book of Job 19, verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth. Job was perfect in all his ways, but he acknowledged that he, his Redeemer liveth. Glory to God. Was perfect in all his work, his ways. He was a perfect man. Glory to God. Job chapter 19 verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand on the latter day upon the earth. Job, while he was going through torment, losing his children, Losing his family. Glory to God. His wife asks him to curse God and die. Because his wife tired of seeing him suffering. But Job said. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because he know that his redeemer liveth. And he know that he will stand on the earth on that day. He was looking for Jesus because he acknowledged Jesus. He received the revelation of Jesus to the Lord God Almighty. David received the revelation of Jesus to our Lord God Almighty. Isaiah received the revelation of Jesus to the Lord God Almighty because they was carrying the glory of God. But there is none like Jesus. Jesus was carrying the glory of God and he faltered not. 
he sinned not because he was a royal priesthood. Oh, mighty God, he was carrying great grace and the perfect sacrifice that holy and righteous unto God, mighty God, so that we can receive eternal life, so we can receive the light of the world, so that when we come to God, we don't have to stumble on his account. He leave us to continue carry that glory today. And as a servant, I am encouraging you to read the book of Revelation chapter 22. And you will receive the revelation of the fullness of God through Christ Jesus. He said, worship the God that our ancestors worship. Worship the God of Job. Worship the God of Isaiah. Worship the God of David. Worship the God of Moses, Isaac, and Jacob. That is the God that we should worship because he is the God that sent Jesus to finish the good work. And Jesus Christ leave us as an ambassador for Christ to continue that work. And he said he gone to prepare a place for us. So when he return, we will be where he is on the last day. He has the key to hell, death, and the grave. He will unlock the grave and let out those who are gone before us on that day. He will unlock hell and let in the wicked and the evil and unscrupulous people so that they will burn in hellfire. And he said he will raise up, up, raise us up on the last day. Why? Because you have the power over Satan. He defeat him when God raised him from the dead. Glory to God. He defeat him when God raised Christ from the dead. This morning, Father, I ask you to raise us from darkness. Raise us from every plans of the enemy. Every day, any of the enemy spot around our home, our life, our family, everyone that's under the sound of our voice, our friends, release us, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I ask of you in Jesus' name, mighty God of Jacob, what a mighty God you are, what an awesome God you are, glory to your holy name, mighty God, mighty God, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Glory to God, hallelujah. What a mighty God you are. What a glorious God you are. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Grace and peace to you again, my brothers and sisters, from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. I, I salute you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, hallelujah. Please remember to go to our website and click that donation button and be a blessing to our ministry. We are love and faith gospel ministry and we specialize in helping the homeless and the less fortunate. Glory to God, we provide them with basic necessities. And this morning I ask you that as you stretch forth your hand to be a blessing to our ministry, I pray God that God will bless you indeed and open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you shall not have room enough to receive. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask of you in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please remember to like, share, and to subscribe to our channel. Glory to God. The Bible says, one shall chase a thousand, but two shall put ten thousand to flight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Grace and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We will see you next week. In Jesus' name, amen 
and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.